clearly families of children with intellectual disability face more stresses, more difficulties than other families do. They have to see a lot of professionals, a lot of other services. So there's often a lot of things that families have to do on a day-to-day -day basis to support and care for their child with intellectual disability. CEDA does a, a wide range of different sorts of research. One is in research around special educational needs and disability, and the other is around parenting and families. Our main focus is sort of building on, yes, we, we do need to continue to understand some of the challenges families face and how better to support them and help them with those challenges. Uh, but also we need to much better understand what their more positive experiences might be um, and also understanding how different relationships within the family might benefit both the child with intellectual disability but also other family members. The first key step is that most studies that have been done so far are quite small. In order to answer you know, questions about some of the details, especially around how family systems work and what beneficial outcomes and other outcomes there might be for children with intellectual disability, you need large numbers of families to participate in research. So we're going to try to get in contact with hopefully at least a thousand and maybe up to a couple of thousand because that means that we can um, look at how things change for families over time. The opportunity to uh, work with a very large number of families and also follow them over time is going to be a pretty unique um, opportunity in the UK. So um, that would be fantastic to be able to you know, follow uh, young children with intellectual disability, their family members right through to being sort of working age adults as well and to be able to see how those children and those families sort of adapt and change over time would be fabulous to do. We're looking for families of children with intellectual disability who at the moment are between the ages of 5 and 11 um, and we'll want to follow them up over time. Really I would encourage families to, to give it a try to find out what it's like if they haven't participated in any research before. There's an element of you know, contributing to that future and contributing to society that families are usually very keen to do. And of course you invest now to hopefully improve things over time for people later.